and first I'll use this multimeter, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and now this one. So let me clean my table and put them all on the junk. So first of all, let me a quick review of this GMM. So here you can measure AC voltage and also you can measure AC frequency. And here you can measure a DC voltage and here you can measure a resistor and ohms and now 2 mega ohms and now a diode and you can measure also a capacitor. And here you can measure a DC frequency and here you can measure a current AC DC bout to poor TA and now you can measure a current to 400 ampere and in CV power electric field detection. Now I want to check the all function one by one. So I'll put the test lead and now you can measure AC voltage 0 V 2000 V. In this case the voltage is close to 230. If I'll push the select button now you can measure AC frequency. A high voltage frequency range is 10 Hz to 60 kHz and the low voltage frequency range is 60 Hz to 10 MHz. In this power line, the frequency is 50 Hz. Move the function scale knob to DCV. You can measure 0 to 1000 V. In this case, 3.9. By moving the knob a little bit more, so here you can measure a resistor and ohms. So I have a resistor and I want to check the value of that resistor. So you can see here the value is close to 100 ohms. Taking the other one, that is 10 ohms. So I'll put them in a series so the one is 10 ohms and the other is close to 100 ohms and check the value. So you can see here that is close to 110 ohms. That is a 1 kilo ohm resistor and that is not showing. By push the select button and now you can see here the function is jump to a mega ohms and you can measure a resistor to mega ohms. In this case, the resistor is close to 1 kilo ohms. So now I have a very large value resistor that is a 1 mega ohm resistor. Check that you can see here that is close to 1 mega ohms. If I put a 2 resistor in a series, so you can see here that is 2 mega ohms. Check one by one. The one is close to 1 mega ohms and the other is 1 mega ohms. If I'll put them on a parallel connection and now the value is 500 kilo ohm. And I'll also check the potentiometer. You can see here how rapidly increase and decrease the resistance of the potentiometer. Just by push the select button and now the function is goes to a diode mode. So that is a very important function. You can check here diode zener diode, transistor ICs, lines on the PCB etc. The value is 0.5 something, its mean over diode is ok. If I will take the damaged one diode and check the value of this diode, you can see here the value is 0.00 something, its mean over diode is damaged. That is short. If I will take a transistor here, so that is ok one transistor. So now you can see here the value is 0.5 something, its mean over transistor is ok. The polarity is matter on this case. If I will put the damaged one transistors, you can see here the value is 0, 0.00 something. Its mean our transistor is damaged. That is short. Now just by push the select button and the setting is goes to a capacitor mode. So you can measure here the capacity of a capacitor. So you can see here that is a 2200 microfarad capacitor and I want to measure the value with my DMM. You can see here the value is 2.150 millifarad. So that is close to 2200 microfarad. We just missed 50 microfarad. So that is not the fault of my DMM but the fault of the capacitor. Measuring the other one 22 microfarad and you can see here the value is 27 microfarad. And uh, you can also measure the capacitor on the circuit board. So I want to measure that capacitor. The actual value is 22. 100 microfarad. If I'll check the value with my DMM, so you can see here the value is 4.46 uh, millifarad. So our capacitor is connected in a parallel combination, so that's why uh, one capacitor is 2.2 millifarad. 
now check the other one that is 68 microfarad when i'll check the value that is you can see here 63 microfarad and you can also check the value of smd capacitors just going furthermore to a hertz function so here you can measure a dc frequency and you do not to uh, plug the test lead in a ac socket because that is danger for you dmm so i want to measure the frequency so i'll made a 5 by 5 timer ic frequency generator and i want to measure the frequency of my circuit So you can see here the frequency range is 4.7 kilohertz and if I'll measure the frequency with my oscilloscope you can see here the frequency range is 4.7 something kilohertz so the result is same same and now oh, let me just increase the frequency range and check with the DMM and oscilloscope. Now the oscilloscope was showing 52 point something kilohertz and check that with my DMM 52 point something so that is same. Going furthermore to pool TA so that is a current measuring function you can measure here a current AC DC both just by push the select button now the function is goes to ac mode now it's dc so i have my lab bench for supply wires and i want to shard them together and uh, check the current of my lab bench for supply and when i increase the current you can watch here how rapidly increase and decrease the current so you can see here the uh, it start from 0 0.1 it's very accurate before use this dmm i'll have used it also others but he did not showing the current and points and that is showing and you can also find out the load of this something so that is a 12v led and i want to find out the load of this light so you can see here the current is two point something make sure you are connected in a single wire you can see here that is a single wire that not showing in a double wire a 400 is also a current measuring function uh, you can measure here a uh, high current and you can also measure here a uh, low current going furthermore to in cv so that for electric field detection when you check something that has electric field you can see here uh, when i'll check the wire it's mean that wire has electric field it's not matter that plus or minus if something has a electric field that is showing the red light It's not matter how many the voltage is. It's low or high. But when the light is blue, it means that thing has a electric field. And if you're working on the dark side, hold the button a little bit long and the light is glow. Now you can see here a display. And if you want to hold the reading of the something, so press the hold button and remove it. You can see here the reading is holded. Hold the button and you can see here the reading is hold. I have a lot of transistor and I'll keep them separate. A good one and bad one. So first let me check you a good one transistor. So it is actually a MOSFET metal oxide field effect transistor. And you can see here the good one transistor value is 0.480 something. Some transistors showing 0.500 something, it's not matter. But the proper checking is uh, you can see here the when I'll uh, connect the drain and source terminal, it's showing the value of that. When I'll uh, connect the gear terminal, you can see here the transistor is now closed. It's with our transistor is okay. And the drain and source terminal is now shorted. When I'll up the gear, now you can see here the transistor is jumped to its original value. Checking others, drain short, gear short, transistor is damaged. Drain short, gear short, transistor is damaged. 